so hello everyone let's do everything practically that we learned from the last video so basically we'll be understanding if else statements so let's do that so as i told you that if else statement looks like this we have this if block or if keyword and after that we specify this parentheses and in this we can check any type of condition whether it can be our own condition let's say 6 is greater than 8 if 6 is greater than 8 then it will print this out otherwise the console will be empty so let's say write or anything you can write any number of code it can be of multi line as well so it can be any uh, declaration it can be any function call or it can be multiple console logs as well so whatever you want to execute in this block you can do that so if I save it let's see you can see nothing is in the console because this condition is false right because 6 is not greater than 8 but if I change this condition to let's say less than so 6 is less than 8 then that's true so it will log this out or log whatever we have uh, written inside this block this block we can also write one more statement to check the condition which will be uh, let's say a variable or a constant variable let's write a var keyword here and we can write a variable name let's say uh, I have age we have this age let's say it's 35 and I want to check this age variable whether it is less than or not so if it is less than 18 let's say I, I'm checking this age variable so age will be replaced here with the value of age which is 35 so it will be replaced with this and 35 will be checked here that 35 is less than 18 or not which is false in case so we can console log let's say you are uh, we can use the double quote you are an adult let's say so this will be logged out otherwise it will not log anything you can see it is not logged out if I put it greater than that's the case so now it will be logged out you are an adult because the person whose age is greater than 18 he is an adult so that we can see this console log otherwise we'll be just using this else block so this else block executes when this kind of statement doesn't or this statement is false so at that time it will be like this so I can use else otherwise I can console log any other thing or I can use any other function call that I told you that you can do any kind of thing here so let's say I'm saying you are a minor let's say you are a minor if I save it you can see so you are an adult still is here because we haven't changed the value from 35 to less than 18 so this block executes otherwise it will always execute this greater than 18 block so I can make it 15 in this case this block will not be executed because this is false now instead this will be executed let's see you can see you are a minor why because this is less than 18 and that's why this is not executed this is false and that's why the false condition executed or the false statement executed similarly we can do any other thing as well let's say if you want to uh, check whether it is male or female or not so you can do 
gender checking here let's say male so I can change the condition from age to gender and I can use the triple equal symbol this is also a comparison operator you understood from the operators chapter I think if gender is male I want to just let's say add a console log of uh, hey man what's up let's say I want this statement if someone is male and I want else if statement else if statement in which I can write any other condition that I want to check I want to check the condition of female as well so I'll be checking that I can check the female condition here so I'm checking else if, if the gender is female so you can use else if statement when you want other condition to be checked as well so if this condition is not there what other condition do I want to check that we are using uh, in this else if block now I can write any other message that I want let's say I want hello beautiful lady beautiful lady otherwise we are just logging out something else let's say I want to log out uh, hello there only so if the gender is male then we'll be logging out this hey man what's up if the gender is female then we'll be logging out this one and others will be neglected hello beautiful lady if none of the other condition or none, none of the above condition matches of a false true then this false statement will be executed or this false block will be executed so this is the last step so first the compiler will check this one so whether it is male or not if this is male or if the gender is male then this block will be executed otherwise it will check the gender is female or not then this code will be executed at last it will return this one if none of the other condition is true so let's see what statement we get so we definitely know that this will be our result let's see that as well you can see our message is hey man what's up we can also change that to female let's say so now you can see the message is different which is hello beautiful lady let's say I have different gender then hello there is added here so this is if else if else statement that you can use an else if block is an extra if block that in which we can ex actually check other conditions or uh, some other conditions as well just like we do in if statement so this will be a complete statement like complete if block you can say so any one will be executed not completely all three or more than one only one statement will be executed others will be neglected if one is executed or if one is true then others will not be taken care of and same goes for this one and this one we also have a shorter plan that we did in the last video that we have a ternary operation so we can actually uh, give let's say I have a bonus I want to give bonus if the age is 18 uh, greater than 18 then I want to give a bonus 5000 otherwise I want to give the bonus to 2000 let's say how can I do that so it can be done with this if else block as well I can initially set this to 0 let's say and I can check check this by checking age if age is greater than 18 let's say then I want the bonus to be 5000 else I want the bonus to be 
2000. So this is one way to do this and if I console log the bonus after checking conditions bonus let's say so that will be fine right that is 2000 because age is less than 18 if I increase that to 20 let's say so now the bonus will be changed to 5000 and this type of uh, operations you can also do with the ternary operation this is one way to do this but we also have other ways that we can do directly here by checking age this condition I can copy the same condition here and check with this question mark or this ternary operator symbol question mark and after that we have the first value that we want to return uh, that will be returned when this condition is true if the age is greater than 18 the first value will be returned to this variable so I can write uh, let's say 5000 if the age is greater than 18 otherwise I want to return 2000 so this kind of statement you can also do in this you can see it is still giving us the right result if I make it 15 so that will be also checked so you can see it is 2000 now similarly you can do any kind of ternary operation but make sure this is a statement not a block of code or multiple line of code it, it can be only one line of true statement so it can be a console log as well let's say uh, this is this exists there and I want gender the same thing we did here let's do that simply so I want to check gender equals male let's say I want to check that if it is true then I want to console log something hello man otherwise I want to console log hello lady let's see what happens now so this kind of one line statement can also be done here you can see hello lady is printed why is that because it will only check if the gender is male it will not check if it is others or not just like we did in here we did else if statement right so when you have only uh, if else kind of block just like this we want a true uh, value to check whether this condition is true or not then we have the false value that we want to return this kind of statement you can do so if it is male then only it will be printed out otherwise it will uh, print this hello lady to all the other values of uh, this gender variable so it will not check that else if block we have also we can do that but uh, that's another thing that we'll be doing uh, in the next video or in the future course or in the future projects let's see what happens you can see hello man because this condition or this console log is executed now so we also have some chained ternary operations that I'm not talking about right now because that's an advanced topic you can consider it later so this was something about if else block or if else statements that we did now. I hope you got something practically. Thank you for watching. Let's meet in the another one.